Hey, Joe. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. This is day two. She's just had her second dose of transfer factor. She ate all her breakfast, but she's um, just very tired, I guess. Um, <laughs> Bruce sheared her yesterday with scissors. Her hair was just unbelievably long, and she had a terrible case of fleas. So we bathed her again and uh, uh, cut her hair short. You can see, you can hear some of the, uh, there we go. This is the cough, coughing and retching she does, which the vet said was a combination of her heart and the collapsing trachea. to get her in the light a little bit because it's kind of dark my sweetheart um, the x-ray showed that her heart is um, enlarged and pressing on her trachea um, so that's really scary stuff for us uh, she will be the second puppy we've lost to this almost identical problem. Pinto had the same issue. He died a few months ago. Um, he did not have liver disease, but he did have heart disease and a collapsing trachea from that and uh, also thyroid disease. Mm, baby. It's been suggested to us that <laughs> we should move. Where we live, we have huge power uh, towers literally across the street from us. And um, this mobile home park we live in has been a hotbed of thyroid issues and um, cancer. Um, I myself had thyroid cancer. They removed my, my thyroid almost 10 years ago. So there's probably some truth in that but we're kind of stuck <laughs> I'm not sure how we would manage to move but anyway this is our angel she's a sweet girl but she's just so lethargic now I mean more so than usual um, the transfer factor has made her even more lethargic than she normally is so she's never been a real energetic dog but um, She's even less so right now. So, anyway. Okay. I sign out for now. Bye.